Hello everyone, welcome back. It's me, the mayor of Millbrook. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my latest mock creation. In this video, I combine two sets, the Harry Potter Hogwarts Express set, along with the Harry Potter's Great Hall set to build a train station. Stick around, it should be pretty interesting. And if you feel so inclined, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And make sure to leave some comments on how you think I can improve this mock going forward. This is part one, but it may go as far as part one, two, three, or four. Who knows? We just want to make it a good set, a good mock. So I look forward to hearing your comments. Thank you. And without further ado, here we go. Hello, everyone. It's me, the mayor of Millbrick. And I'm here reviewing my mock of a mashup between two sets. It's the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Great Hall and the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Express. As you can see right there, there's the Hogwarts Express train. Here is uh, the platform nine and three quarters, but I combined it to make a train station. So if we go in close here, you can see that I have a counter for the attendants to, to book the passengers on their train. And we got some people in line there ready to take the local uh, train to wherever they decide to be going at this time. There's a teller machine right there and a cart for luggage on the side. I cleared the room out, the, uh, the area. I cleared the benches out. I left the old fireplace just to give it that old feel along with the banners there, as you can see. Uh, we left the brooms on the side, and I just popped in a little decoration, that little cup, just to have something, make it look a little special. I put in a couple benches there. I don't know if I need uh, any more than that. I just kind of left it open. There's some steps. You can't really get the depth perception on that, but there's some steps right there that lead up to the platform. Here's the platform here, and I kind of left it open. My plan is to make a roof that kind of slopes down and then comes over just to cover it up, but we're in the initial stages of the build. I'm looking forward to some great ideas from you guys just to let me know what you think I should do to kind of uh, finish this thing off. Should I leave it open in this area here, or should I kind of put some walls around here and only leave it? open so that the the figures or passengers can come up the steps here. What do you think? Let me know. I took off that little wall that separated nine and three quarters from the rest of the platform and kind of changed out the lights because it was sticking out too far and then put these little decorations there so you can walk straight through. I love what Lego did with this little clock with the arms that you can adjust. It's just those little grill like the pieces you use to hold hand um hot dogs like the tongs that's a good clock i like that nice so then i extended it all by uh doing a 16 by 32 additional mills plate to, to have this section over here on the other side of the platform and i'll be figuring out how to add this into the city there's a dementor sitting right there ready to scare someone hermione coming down the steps and then the older lady, I don't know her name, forgive me for that. But uh, yeah, as we move around here, you can see I closed it off here, put a door there for employees or whomever to uh, go in and out. You can see it's right there by the teller machine inside of the great hall. But let me know what you think. Let me know what I should add. Uh, I'm thinking I may need to tile it a little more, the floors, but I kind of like to leave some exposed tiles so you can put figures down and uh, move them around and whatnot. But if you have some ideas on what I should do next with this to make it the best it can be, feel free to let me know. This thing does detach right here where the mills connect. So you can take it off and just pop this one on... It's actually the Great Hall piece and the platform are actually on the 32 by 32 base plate. So it can be removed and popped in anywhere you have space for a uh, 32 by 32 base plate. So 
Let me know what you think. I'm excited to hear your thoughts on it. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting some more built and on this whole thing here. Yep, this is part one of my mock mashup train station with the Hogwarts Express and the Lego Harry Potter Great Hall. If you like what you saw here, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also uh, like and subscribe and share if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.